3 volts There we go That's 5 volts Somebody out there wants to try the same experiment, make sure you do a better setup than what I'm doing. Man, I had it earlier spinning like crazy. That's why I went and grabbed my camera and then nothing working now. Let's try three volts. Okay. Five volts. Five volts. That's me touching the five volts off and on, off and on, off and on. But it's catching on. Oh, damn it, that's hot. All right. <laughs> I hurt myself. It's like pulsing the five volts by hand. See, the thing is, these pins, they keep moving in and they hit the edge and keep it from spinning. If I had that green styrofoam that I saw that guy using on the on the video, this thing would be spinning like crazy. Like, like that. And he had a bigger, a lot bigger magnet than what I'm using. I got that magnet out of a hard drive. So I, I don't even know what you would call this experiment, uh, spinning circle of metal, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I saw it and I thought I'd try see if I could do it, replicate it myself. It's hitting here on the thing, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, that's it. It's five. Here's twelve volts. <laughs> we have ignition. Whew, smoky. Stinky, stinky. Twelve volts again. Just touching it. Just tapping the twelve volt wire. It's knocked out of line again. Tap it again. Anyways, it's it, it's pretty fun to play with once you get it spinning. But like I said, you gotta have a better setup than that. That's 12 volts. All right, well, that's that experiment.